and welcome back to another vlogtober today i'm sharing my 100 dollar goodwill haul I keep saying i'm gonna stop sourcing at the goodwill specifically the retail locations but it's always those days those random days that you're like oh let me just stop in that you hit the jackpot and i found some killer stuff i did have my 20 percent off coupon so if you don't know if you subscribe to the monthly newsletter the and i'm talking specifically for goodwill southern california so if you subscribe for their like e-newsletter you get a 20 percent off coupon at the beginning of every month and i always forget to use it yesterday i found a lot of stuff and it was newly it was like fresh inventory i don't know about you but here they actually put the dates that it gets put out on the floor they put it on the stickers on the price stickers so you know how new they are i only think i got two items that had a discount everything else i paid full price but that 20 percent off coupon came in hand i spent a hundred dollars even it, it actually came out to like 99 dollars and 50 cents and i just rounded up rounded up to a hundred dollars i was like fine i usually don't like rounding up because i'm like hello the purchase is the donation but i was like round it up to a hundred honey <laughs> So here's everything that I got for $100 at my local Goodwill of Southern California. Oh, this is just a graphic t-shirt. I love graphic t-shirts. It says Yellowstone, Wyoming, and it has this really cool lone wolf. Um, The color was yellow $3.99. Yellow tags were 50% off, so I got this for $2. And it looks in really good condition. It looks like brand new. It's never been washed. I don't know if the brand is anything good. It's called As Faded AS Color. But the graphic alone is cool. So I'm gonna list it for, I'm gonna list it for 20 and take the best offer. I purchased a lot of home goods because I'm planning to do a home home goods show on Poshmark. So I'm picking up a lot of like boho. I actually found a lot of really good vintage. So let me show you. First up is this set of three, like, um, they're like Hollywood Regency style sconces. They're by Homeco. These are probably from the 70s, maybe late 60s. They actually have the date stamped in Roman numerals, but I don't know how to read it right now. But there's three of them, which is pretty random because like, I mean, normally they come in sets of two. So I was looking for a fourth one, couldn't find it. So... I'm going to set them up, sell them as a set of three. And these were, for the set of three, they're all like, they have like this tape together. Okay. $4.99. So these were five bucks. Another home good, this little shelf, which I thought was very boho. Um, you can put like a planter here, but it looks like a, one of those little wicker chairs, but it's plastic. It doesn't have a mark. Oh, wait. Burwood? Burwood made in the USA. There is a Roman numeral timestamp, so probably 70s as well. This was $2.99. I've been stocking this purse. This little, it looks like a 1960s little box purse. It says Charles Jordan Paris made in France. This was $14.99, which is expensive. It's been out for a few weeks. I've been stocking it. But it finally was red tags 25% off. So, I mean, I still ended up paying like $10 for it. But I also had a 20% off coupon. So, I jumped on it. I, feel, I love box purses. And it's so like a really nice cherry red. So, I think I can sell it for at least like $35 on Etsy. So this one, I normally wouldn't purchase mugs. But I was kind of inspired by my girl Chelsea over at Monarch Alley. I'm going to tag her channel up here. This is a Friends mug. And it has the Friends cast. So I'm going to hit it hard on Posh shows. I don't know why I haven't been doing this. I have access to the to the show. So I should take advantage of it right now that it's in beta. So I'm doing a show tomorrow. I'm doing a home goods show on Sunday and then I'm planning to do like a 90s theme show and I have like a lot of like 90s Y2K so I have like this I have like a bunch of like Lion King stuff toys Powerpuff Girls like Spongebob stuff 
So I'm trying to make it into a theme and see how it takes off on Poshmark. So this one was $2.99. This killer vintage dress. It's teeny tiny. It was $8.99. But look at it. It's like this super sexy halter sequin dress. And it has like, it has boning in it. So it's fitted, but it's like a full length velvet gown the tag is Giorgio Beverly Hills so I'm not sure if this is 60s or 70s but I love it and it was $8.99 this was a crazy find I found Farm Rio I've never even considered finding Farm Rio in my area I feel like that's just not a brand that I would find locally, but it's this really cool psychedelic mushroom dress. There is some damage on it. Like there's some stress on the seams. But I mean, this brand is pretty expensive. So I'm going to list this as a standalone item in my Poshmark closet and take a best offer. This was $8.99 full price. I found this really cool mod cloth velvet top. I love mod cloth. I love picking it up from my closet. It always sells really well. This is size 3X. Really pretty. Forest green color. Perfect for the holidays. This will be in my show tomorrow. How much was this? This was $5.99. These are the infamous Levi's wedgie jeans. So I decided to pick them up. Really cool raw hemline. It's a size 26. I'm going to put them up in my show tomorrow and see how they do. So by the time you're seeing this, the sale would have already happened. So I'm sorry if you were interested in the items, but check out my Poshmark closet. Anything that's left over is going to be available in my closet. So it might still be there. See if you're interested, make me an offer. I'm always open to offers. So up next, a second pair of jeans. I found these like right next to each other. Also wedgies, these are 25, those were 26. This one's slight, slightly darker wash, but also $7.99 full price. On this killer top, it's velvet. So I feel like velvet can be, velvet is, I don't know, I associate velvets with fall and winter, but it's a crop top. So I think it'll be for both, right? And this is by the brand Forever That Girl. It still has the anthropology tag, retailed $120. Um, it was $4.99 at Goodwill. This is the Philip Lim. Three is a three to one. Three to one Philip Lim. It's like a navy colored crop top. It has some like deodorant stains, so I have to wash it. But this one was $6.99. This is a men's jacket. I thought it was so cool. I never heard of this brand. It's called Black Skull. But it was $9.99. But I thought this one was so cool. It's like very subtle. You can't really see. Oh, it's a... Oh, I didn't even notice this. I didn't even notice it was like a crucifix. So it reminded me of like Yeezy. That's why I got it. But it's reversible. And on the in the other color, it's like a pirate ship. So it's reversible. And like, I did check the comps and comps were all over the place. Like some were like over $100, but others were like $20, $10. But I'm going to list it high. I think this is a really cool jacket. I mean, it's two in one. It's reversible. So this is what it looks like. And honestly, it's unisex. I don't care. I mean, I would wear it either way. So yeah, I was excited to find this one. I always pick up t-shirts. It was like one of those days where I was in line and I kept looking around and I was still finding items. So I remember I was already waiting in line to check out and I looked over and I saw this and it's just a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. Um, it has like this keyhole cut out. This one was $3.99. This one's going in my show. Another one for my show. So I feel like I'm, I invested a lot in this show. So I better do well. But this is Zara new with tags. I feel like Zara also always does well. It's this like black sheer top. It has like this 
daisy print puff sleeves really good conditions i mean it's brand new 5.99 so yeah i feel like i walked into like some really good stuff these three items i found like as i was waiting in line to check out i just looked over and i kept finding stuff this is a bravado top it's just a guns and roses top but like the last time i had a show like all my guns and roses t-shirts sold so picked up that and then this one was so cool this is harley davidson it's this suede leather jacket and it has like these side tassels so cool it's teeny tiny it's marked a size small but i think it's an extra small this was 5.99 so, I don't know, I think I'm gonna list it. I'm gonna list it tomorrow and see how it does. So then, this was another made, like I'm telling you, probably one of the best hauls I've had at my local Goodwill in a while. Pyrex, and not just any Pyrex, like the freaking turquoise Amish butter print Pyrex. Like these are so hard to find. And they were just sitting there. I was like, oh my God, I never find Pyrex. I found Pyrex once. No, I think like three times. Two of the times they were like super damaged. And one of them was like from the 70s. It was like a spring blossom. But this is like the Amish Butterprint Turquoise set. This is one and a half quarts. It was $3.99, which is super affordable. And the other times that I found Pyrex, it's like crazy overpriced. So I can't believe it was actually priced reason reasonably. Reasonably? Reasonably. This one, I'm not sure what the print is called. It looks like a more modern piece, maybe from the 70s. But it's still really cute. Four quart Amish print. And it's like in such good condition. There's like really no chipping, no fading, no color. No discoloration, nothing. And this one was $5.99. So yeah, I'm so excited. So with my coupon, I saved $26.76 $26 and it took it down. It was like $99.50. So I just rounded it up to $100. So that was everything that I got. That was a total. I thought I told you how many items you had too. So that was a total of 19 items for a hundred dollars let me know what your favorite item was in this haul what do you guys think will i do well i hope so thank you guys so much for watching and see you tomorrow for another vlogtober bye